Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what was it I said about things getting hot? Yeah, that was real slick. Next thing I know, the very next day, the overnight low trem plunges down to about 43 degrees overnight. Since then, we've having, been having 60s and low 70s during the daytime and 50s getting close to the upper 40s at night and it's supposed to remain kind of steady like that for the next week ago, or week or so according to the forecast so I can go with that that's decent that that's reasonable it's not too hot it's not too cold I'm okay with that and let's hope that we don't get an ice storm coming in here to make the whole thing into a mockery Speaking of mockeries, I received a question in the comments of the previous video about what I think of uh, the whole Trump versus Clinton thing. What do I think? Well, my first reaction is I despise politicians. I especially despise career politicians. You know how you can tell when a politician is lying? Their lips are moving. And by the way, that doesn't matter whether or not it's a male or a female politician. They're all career liars say anything you they want to get elected and then once they're in elected it's like who are you did you contribute millions of dollars to help me out I don't know you if you didn't that's pretty much the way that goes it's pretty much the way it's gone for a very long time in the 2016 election there are two candidates on top and before I go any further, I'm going to say that I'm not particularly in favor of either of them. I'm also going to say that to those who would suggest that I could vote or suggest voting independent or libertarian or green party or this or that party, the simple fact of the matter is that no independent or green party or libertarian party candidate has ever been elected president. They do not have sufficient political clout they do not have sufficient political momentum these parties will not get anyone elected president this year they will not get anyone elected president for the foreseeable future perhaps in 40 or 50 years they may be able to manage it however right now no it's not going to happen period which leaves us with the candidates of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton has a lot of baggage. She's been involved in scandal after scandal ever since Watergate. Personally, I wouldn't trust that woman as far as I could throw her with one eye tied behind my back. I don't trust her, and I would never vote for her. Now, it would be nice if there were other candidates to choose from that had a chance of getting elected. For example, four years ago, I put forth the idea of David Banner running for president. <laughs> David Banner, a.k.a. the Hulk. That would be very interesting. It would be quite humorous. It's also quite unrealistic because he's not real. But it's a funny thought, just the same. This year, I could suggest another such candidate in the person of Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. <laughs> Now there's a character anybody could vote for. Unless, of course, you hail Hydra. And finally, my personal favorite idea for president, Fred Krueger. <laughs> that would be interesting. It would make for a very interesting movie. Freddy Krueger for president. However, once again, like Tony Stark and David Banner, he's not real, so we can't do that. I suppose you could write him in, but it wouldn't get anywhere which leaves us with Donald Trump. He is a very outspoken, very opinionated, very don't give up and never stop fighting kind of person. He decides he wants something done a certain way. By God, it's going to happen or you're going to have one heck of a negotiation ahead of you. He's a reality TV star. He has been considered by many to be a living joke but then again these many people that consider him to be this living joke also have not done business with him or watched up close as he has done business not that I have I haven't but just you know the man's been in the news on and off 
for a very long time. And he's got a talent. He has a talent for saying things that fire people up. He has a talent for saying things that get under people's skin. He has a talent of showmanship. He makes sure that he's always in the news. He's got more free press than Hillary Clinton has paid for. Just simply because of the things he has said. Honestly, I've spent a lot of time reading a lot of stuff and watching a lot of video. None of which I actually wanted to pay any time on. I didn't want to look at all this stuff about Hillary Clinton and her campaign and her campaign promises and what her people or people that are in favor of her have to say about her. I didn't want to spend two minutes doing that, never mind the hours and days that I've spent looking at it since this campaign began. And the same can be said for Donald Trump. I didn't want to spend all the time that I've spent reading about this and that and the other. And all this stuff that's been going on involving with the campaign since the time that either candidate decided to announce that they were running for president. I haven't really wanted to waste all my time with that stuff because in one sense it can be considered a waste of time. However, while I don't say a whole lot about political things, I will say that I do try to pay attention to what's going on. And my observations, my opinion, is that very likely, very likely, Donald Trump is going to win this election. I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong. But that's what I think is going to happen. It's going to happen in spite of polls and pundits that say otherwise. For one thing, the polls are a statistical crap. There are lies, damned lies, and statistics. You can make those polls say anything you want them to. You stack the questions. You stack the people that you're going to ask the questions to. You can make that poll turn out any way you want it to. So the polls are, in my opinion, a waste of time. And the so-called experts and pundits that you see all over the place, I don't want to hear their opinions. I want to hear where the candidate stands on this or that issue. I haven't yet made my choice as to who's going to get my vote in no on November 8th. However, on November 8th, I will be in the voting booth, just like thousands and millions of other people will. And you know, one of the reasons I think Trump is going to get elected is because a lot of people who are tired of the way things have gone for the last 30 or 40 years or whatever, they're going to sit down there in the voting booth and they're going to think, you know, those a-holes in Washington deserve this and vote for Trump. A lot of people are going to sit there in the voting booth and they're going to be thinking to themselves, this ought to shake things up and vote for Trump. These same people, many of these same people who go in there and vote for Trump are going to go out there and tell the exit pollers that they voted for Clinton. Another reason why you don't pay attention to polls. Because people will tell you what they think you want to hear or what they want you to hear. They're not necessarily ever going to tell you the truth. And now I have been speaking for over 10 minutes. And it's time to shut up. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Be sure to vote on November 8th. Mr.